All right, what's going on people? Enums. Enums are a special kind of class that contains a grouping of named integer constants. We tend to use enums when we have values that we know will not change. So here's an example. Let's create an enum of planets and we will associate a planet number with each named planet. So to create an enum type, enum, then a unique name, kind of like we're creating a class, then curly braces. So I'm going to add the name of each planet within our solar system, beginning with Mercury, and then separate each with a comma. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, then just continue on in this pattern. This isn't necessary, but I like to place each of my members on a new line within an enum. I think it's easier to read. Okay, we now have an enum of planets, and there's an associated integer with each of these members. If we do not explicitly set an integer, by default, the first member is 0, then 1, 2, 3, then you just follow that pattern. So let's access one of these members of our enum of planets. Let's display a message. Planets.pluto is a planet. So to access a name of one of these members, you type the name of your enum, planets, dot, the name of your named member, Pluto. This will return the name, not the integer. Let's try it. Pluto is a planet. This is no different from using the two string method. This will do the same thing. Pluto is a planet. Okay, now if we need the associated integer with each of these named members, we would cast this member as an integer. Let's change our message around. Let's say that planets.mercury is planet number, then to access one of the integers stored within a member, that would be planets dot, the name of a planet, Mercury, and then we will precede this with parentheses, int. This will convert our named member into an integer. So our message is now, Mercury is planet number zero. So these named members always begin with zero, but we can change that and set them. Let's say that Mercury equals one, Venus equals two, and then continue on in this pattern. Let's display Pluto as well, because Pluto is feeling left out. Planets.pluto is planet number, planets.pluto, then cast as an integer. Okay, Mercury is planet number one, Pluto is planet number nine. Let's try something a little bit more complex. Let's create an enum to keep track of the radius of each planet. Enum planet radius. And let me just copy this. Okay, here's the radius of each planet in kilometers. Mercury is 2439, 6051 for Venus. And then I'll just fast forward the footage. You can copy this down if you'd like. All right, we have the radius and kilometers of each planet. So these are in name integer pairs. Let's create a variable to store the name of one of our planets. String name equals, what about Earth? Planet radius, the name of our enum, dot, the name of our member, Earth. So if we're going to store this within a string variable, we need to use the to string method. And then let's display this just to test it. Let's say planet colon space plus name. And this should display just Earth. Planet Earth. Okay, let's get the radius of Earth. Int radius equals planet radius dot Earth, then cast this as an integer. Console dot right line. Let's say radius colon space plus radius. Radius 6371, let me add kilometers. So that's kind of the nice thing about enums is that we don't necessarily need to remember all of these numbers. It's kind of like we're storing variables, so to say. They are name integer constants that will not change through the life of a program. Now let's move on to a challenge round. Let's create a method that will calculate the volume of one of our planets when we pass in a radius. Public 
static will return a double and this will be the volume method and there is one parameter the parameter is planet radius and we will name this just radius okay we need to return let's say volume and double volume equals and here's the formula to calculate the volume of a sphere 4.0 divided by 3.0 times math.pi times our radius to the power of 3. So we can use math.power, pass in our radius, make sure to cast this as an integer to the power of 3. And let's call the volume method and store this within a double named volume. Double volume equals, we will invoke the volume method and pass in planet radius dot earth. And then we'll display the volume. Console dot right line, volume colon space plus volume. And I think that's in cubed kilometers. All right, and the volume of Earth is whatever number this is, 1083 something, 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 something cubed kilometers. So yeah, those are enums. They're like a special class that contains a set or grouping of named integer constants. We tend to use enums when we have values that we know will not change. And to get the integer value from an item, you must explicitly convert it to an integer. So yeah, those are enums. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to smash that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.